a sneak attack. We get inside and then... And then you will be stopped. By the unstoppable weapon. A former bandit gang leader who had a change of heart and acts as a member of the Gongmen Kung Fu Council. History Croc's origins are currently unknown. However, it is known that he was once the head of the infamous wool-stealing crocodile bandits of Crocodile Island, a gang of criminals noted to be unmatched in their mischief and known for their skill in trap setting. It is also known that Croc eventually crossed paths with Master Thundering Rhino, whose kung fu is proven superior in their battle on the shores of the Wasu Li River. Beaten, Croc prepared himself for death, but the fatal blow never came. Thundering Rhino instead asked Croc to use his kung fu skills for doing good. Croc was so moved by Master Rhino's compassion that he immediately quit his criminal ways. He then traveled across China, following Rhino's advice to use his kung fu for good, by righting wrongs and protecting the weak. Croc gained fame for his victorious deeds during this time. Eventually he came to sit at Rhino's side as a member of the Kung Fu Council. Appearance Croc wears a kilt of brown armor around his waist, two matching guards on both shoulders, and six more brown pieces of armor on his back. The kilt is held up by a black belt covered in tiny spikes, and his two wristbands are made of a similar material. He also has some strips of fabric wrappings on both legs and a spiked metal ball attached to the end of his tail. Personality As a member of the wool-stealing crocodile bandits of Crocodile Island, Croc was ruthless and evil. However, after he lost his fight with Master Thundering Rhino, he became thoroughly humbled and decided to turn over a new leaf, using his Kung Fu for the benefit of others. Serving with the Kung Fu Council under Thundering Rhino, Croc was a devoted and loyal warrior to his master and fellow apprentice Storming Ox, but his spirits were crushed by the death of his master at the hand of Shen and his unstoppable weapon. Even so, he and Ox were convinced by Shifu to continue to fight for the good, and aid the Dragon Warrior and Furious Five against Lord Shen. Your friend there is very persuasive. Similarly to Poe, he often speaks in an overly dramatic fashion, but he can also be dry and sarcastic. He is shown to be a lot less aggressive than his fellow apprentice and friend Storming Ox, and usually rather quiet and keeps a cool head. However, he was also shown as a conceited and loud street fighter who dreamed of having a castle with a balcony, where he could wave to his adoring fans. Because upon completing the mission, you'll discover the path to a wealth of riches. He seemed to grow out of this behavior when he learned of fighting for a higher purpose after meeting Rhino, Ox, and Dugwe, and stopping the Wu sisters. How much is the Imperial Army paying you to arrest us? Why does everyone think we only do things for money? Because you do. Abilities Due to his reptilian physiology, Croc is a phenomenal swimmer and will attack from the water when he can. This was shown in the final battle against Shen's fleet, where he burst from the water and started to tear his way through Shen's wolf army. He used his physical strength and resilience in addition to the club attached to the end of his tail to overwhelm his opponents easily. Croc is known to have nearly impenetrable skin and As well as any reptile, he can quickly regenerate from injuries and even amputated limbs. While sparring with storming ox and battling wolves, Croc was shown to be skilled with acrobatics and swordsmanship, wielding his sword against Lord Shen, deflecting Shen's blades when the peacock threw them at him. However Shen proved superior, not only fending off Croc but also holding his own against storming ox at the same time. 
he was also seen throwing his tail strikes rapidly between sword slashes. The list. Number 1. Croc's design originally came from an early villain concept for the first film as part of Tai Lung's army. Number 2. While Kung Fu Panda characters aren't exactly known for their authentic accents, Croc being inexplicably French stands out. Hello. Hello. We don't need those two. I said we dumped the baguette. Number 3. In Kung Fu Panda 2, Croc performs a signature move of his voice actor Jean-Claude Van Damme when he leaps out of the water and onto the boat and lands in a wide split position. Number 4. He's in Poe's dream, as a bad guy, in the first film. He also shows up in Manta's story from Secrets of the Furious Five. Well, if it isn't the world-famous Mantis... Guess you were so fast you forgot to check for traps, ha! <laughs> Number 5. Croc in Kung Fu Panda 3 may have been designed to be a different individual from the Master Croc in Kung Fu Panda 2, due to some notable differences in physical appearance from his concept art. Master Shifu strongly advised us. The art shows multiple designs of him with an exceptionally long tongue, beard-like protuberances on his chin and lower jaw, and markings on his body resembling those of pythons. The truck 